Welcome back to the RPG Maker MV Tutorial Series Level 2. We've made our maps, we've made a start scene, we've got an end scene. We've added theme music to a couple of our levels, but some of our levels are missing music and it might be a bit incongruous. So let's take a look at that now. Alright, here we are back in RPG Maker MV. Let's test to see where we are. We start our game, got our lovely music. Why not? Let's watch the intro. So as we watch the intro we can hear our theme music playing in the background. We can hold down the left mouse to fast forward through this. Choose male, our hero. Starts in the small town of Wayport. And when we get to Wayport, this lovely sleeping sleepy fishing village kind of music kicks in. Fantastic. It continues to play. And continues to play. and continues to play and we still got our sleepy fishing village music which is probably fine up through to here but then we're in the deep dark forest and surely we want something else there so let's fix that up so one way to fix it is just to set music the same way that we did for the fishing village click on the fishing village press space and that'll take me to uh, the map properties I can see that there's autoplay BGM, that's background music, town one. You can set up background sound, uh, which is things like rivers, etc., uh, or background music. Both of them have a similar effect. Obviously, the music is music and the sound is sound. Surprising. What we can do is we can go to world one, for example. We'll just fix this up a little bit. You can uh, adjust the changes on your map as you like. This is how we enjoy it. We liked it. And on World 1 we've got no music. So let's say we want to set something a bit more jaunty. Like Town 2. Why not? Let's see what that effect has when we go to play our game. Now we don't want to keep running through our menu again, so we're just going to switch off. Yeah, we skip title. And if you don't know how to do that, check out episode 3, playtesting. And we'll just set our start to the fishing village so we can get kickstarted straight away. Sleepy fishing village. More jaunty world map music. That's pretty alright. Plays through the forest, plays through the town. Hmm. Not too bad. Same deal again. We're going to have an issue when we get to the forest. So let's set our lost forest to something bit more creepy, maybe a dungeon type sound. That should do it. So now if I go back to world one and I set my starting, my player start position near the forest, press play. I've got our jaunty music. Creepy dungeon music. I don't want to go all the way through so I'm just going to click on the Lost Forest, skip straight to the end, set starting position here, hit play. We come out, and now I'm back to kind of jaunty music again. I'm going to run over here to my tower. And what's my tower going to have? That's a really good question. So the tower is the start of the dungeons, and uh, the dungeons, well, I think that's pretty obvious. Let's put dungeon music for each of those. So we can set the same dungeon music. Uh, this can obviously be customized as much as you like, and you can import your own background music. We'll go through that in another level. But we'll just set all of these to the same dungeon sound, same dungeon music for now, all dungeon one. Just makes our life a little bit easier when we're doing these quick game setups. I'm just going to keep the tower at dungeon one as well. So now what happens is we come out of the lost forest, we go through the world playing the jaunty kind of world music, and then we hit the dungeon kind of sound again. What if we wanted to keep the dungeon sound going from the lost forest through to the tower? Well, it's a bit tricky because now we have to override the World 1 jaunty music. 
So how can we do that? So one way to do that would be, for example, to set up a new event here that played background music Dungeon 1. And that means that when you came out of the forest, you'd walk into it. The problem is there might be some kind of a time lag, etc, etc. There's another way that we can do this, which is just to switch off our automatic music and have the background music triggered by events. So to keep our musical themes a little bit continuous, what can we do? Well, we start in the fishing village with one sound. Let's keep that going through the forest. So the first thing we're going to want to do is switch off our theme music for the world. Then we're going to check whether we have any theme music in the forest, and there's nothing. And we do have our theme music in the fishing village. So we're going to set the forest to be a transition point between different types of music, from sleepy to more um, excited, for want of a better word. So well, when we come out of the forest, let's start playing some new music. We'll fade out the background music over one second. We'll wait for one second. 60 frames is one second. And then we'll play the new background music, which is going to be Town 2. And that will apply across each of these squares. So just to make sure that we don't miss that, we'll just delete the rest of those and copy and paste them over here. Now, if we went in the other direction, we'd actually want to switch that music off. And that would be coming from this side. So if you enter the forest, sleepy music starts playing. So same deal again, we'll fade out the background music, one second, we'll wait 60 frames, that's one second, and then we'll play background music, sleepy forest music, or sleepy village music. Click OK. Let's have a look at the effect of that now. So we'll play test from our fishing village. We'll set the player starting position around here, hit play. Sleepy Fishing Village music, still playing even though we're on the world map. Still playing in the forest. And then when we exit the forest to the other side, it fades out nicely and we get our jaunty music. If we come back in the other way, it fades out and we have Sleepy Fishing Village music. And here we are, continuing with that. So the next thing we might want to do is then extend that, same principle, to the Lost Forest. So when we enter the Lost Forest, let's fade out our background music. One second. We'll set a wait time. And we'll play the background music for the dungeon. I'll just hit stop on that or else it's going to keep playing in the background forever. That means when we enter the Lost Forest, we're going to play background music. Now if we were coming in the other direction and we were exiting the Lost Forest up here, we would then want to do the reverse and we would want to stop the background music by fading it out, wait for a second, and then we would play the background music. And this time we're going to be going back to the Town 2 background music zone. Same deal again, I'm just going to remove all of these. Control C and Control V there. So now we can just test that out to see how that works. And just to make sure that we have the background music in the beginning yeah, playing already, I'm going to set the town's background music to town two. That means that no matter what happens when we step into this town, it will always play that music. So let's set our starting position for the player here for our play test. Save the game. There's our music of the town. Come through here. We go in here, music fades out. We go into the dungeon type, background music, and there we are. 
if we test our lost forest sound uh, through to the tower transition. So now we can set our player starting position down in here in the lost forest. Click play. We're playing the dungeon music. Still playing the dungeon music even though we're on the world map. And now if we come through to the f tower, we're still playing the dungeon music. And that will continue through. each of those dungeons. And finally, when we're going from the tower to the Hall of Transference, we continue our dungeon music till we come outside. And we scroll through to the ending. We can still hear the water in our credits here, so maybe we should just fix that up as well. To switch off the water at the end, we can simply go to the Fairy Queen event and we can play it, fade out the background sound. Let's see how that plays out. And last but not least, we might want to set the ending map to have the same theme song as the beginning, just to close the loop. Let's do our final playtest from the tower. We've got our dungeon music, creepy background sound, uplifting music, save me, ending, background music gone. Run the credits, roll the credits and back to the new map, a uh, new game. And that's it. We've now completed theme music in a full circle. Let's move on to the next episode. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider smashing those like and subscribe buttons as they do help with the algorithm. Now it's your turn to go make a game. See you in the next one.